why does uh, compiled code um, run faster than interpreted code now this question that we see here is basically focused uh, on that same concept right so the question says that we have a sequence of high level language instructions inside a loop and that loop will be executed 2000 times explain why using an interpreter to run this sequence will be slower than running a compiled version basically if this code is interpreted it is going to run slower and if this code is compiled it's going to run faster see with compiler all instructions within the loop are going to be translated once only so all instructions are going to be translated once only using a compiler and then this translated code will be able to run on the machine on its own without the need of a compiler so that's what the compiler is going to do. It's just going to compile it once, and you know, it, during compilation, it's going to go through all those phases, you know, uh, of lexical analysis, syntax analysis, so um, and code generation. So all of the phases are going to happen once only. Okay, so these are going to have thi this translation process is going to happen once only. Whereas what an interpreter does is, it goes through the code line by line, right? And once it translates an instruction, it moves on to the next line. So in case of a loop, when the loop runs the second time, and the and the interpreter comes across the same instruction, that same instruction needs to be translated once again. So the interpreter will once again, you know, uh, work on this instruction it's going to do the syntax analysis the semantic analysis the code generation code optimization so all of these uh, all of these phases that are required for translation are going to be carried out 2000 times if an if a loop is going to run 2000 times so all the instructions within the loop will need to be translated 2000 times because we have an interpreter now. So for the interpreter we are going to write that the interpreter will translate the sequence of instructions. sequence of instructions within the loop 2000 times so we'll have so 2000 times will this code need will each instruction within the code need to be translated 2000 times and that includes all phases That includes all phases of translation like lexical analysis, like lexical, syntax, semantic analysis. 
throat generation etc so all of these phases are going to be executed 2000 times for every instruction that is part of the loop so that's the reason why the interpreted code is going to run much slower than the compiled code okay one key concept here is that when you answer a question like this in the exam you must be well aware that this is not a general question this is not asking you for a difference between a compiler and an interpreter or a compiled code or interpreted code this question has a context this question is saying what is going to happen when a loop is going to be translated a loop with several instructions is going to be translated and and and, and you know that loop will run 2000 times so your answer must be based on that context so your answer must include you know mention of a loop it must also include you know the so the scenario needs to be uh, discussed in the solution here just like i've done here you know i've mentioned that this loop will need to be translated 2000 times right so i i'm answering this question based on the context so remember if you get a context based question your answer should be you know based on the context also so you have to describe the working of an interpreter or a compiler in this scenario the loop has to run 2000 times so what will the compiler and the interpreter do in this scenario so that's very important when you write an answer if you get a context in the question no matter what the topic is your answer should be based on the context of the question